good morning beautiful souls on this lovely day we will be reviewing the four attachment styles now in the previous session I had talked about three attachment styles because some people like to drop fear or replace the term of fear with anxiety which is the same as anxious um, so what is behind everything if we review our chakras there are in reality two kinds of emotion for all events love or fear so love from your heart chakra and fear from your sacral chakra if you harbor fear for any events you can let it go with love. So in order to let it go with love, you need to love first thine self. Love for self lets go of all anxiety and fear. So please look below. I will have in the um, little icon below, you can press the button and go do your own exam of what is your attachment style. I was quite shocked that my attachment style would have received a secure attachment style. Um, but I can explain the reasons that are obvious to me that would have taken place. Number one, as we have discussed in previous sessions, men cheat sorry guys even if you didn't do it physically it's in your mind whatever it doesn't matter women don't have that men do men like to look you know what women are beautiful i have no problem with it i don't care and if a guy cheats i don't give a shit. that's the truth do you know why because i'm secure in myself he wants to go let him go he wants to stay, let him stay. But a guy who I've given my heart, myself, yeah, I'm gonna be a little bit mad, you bet. However, if he didn't go anywhere, it was just like a one-time thing, I don't care. Honestly, I don't care. Doesn't mean I will. So, and just understand that um, and that again just in case you're kind of new to the channel it goes to masculine and feminine dynamic the feminine is a receiver the masculine is a giver the feminine cannot wash off or evacuate the energies of the masculine for between 70 to 90 days and it's due to that which you say whoa do I didn't want that guy because I'm gonna be having his energy and harboring that energy for how much time? And it becomes a part of you and it becomes a part of your DNA and all this kind of thing. So you wanna be very, very careful with whom you allow close to you in that manner. And for men, it's easy. They wash it off, literally. You wanna go be with a hoe? Go ahead, I don't give a shit. But don't you be bringing that hoe to me. You better fucking wash it off. So, and wear a condom. So there's the, the two dynamics here. Sorry for being so cross. Okay, so let's get back to the four attachment styles. The reason that I would have got secure is because I honestly feel like that. Um, the other thing is I'm a free flow, okay? So, you want to be here, be here, you don't, you don't, but I like to be close. And that's a bit of a problem because often I get the avoidant attachment style. I don't understand why I keep getting avoidant attachment style and I can't get a secure attachment style if I'm secure. So maybe I'm not so secure, you see. So the avoidant, what they like to do is they like to be like, oh, I can't do this right now, even if timing's good and everything. Because I have my goals 
and yada di yada di yeah. Okay. And then the, the view is, you don't respect me. You don't respect my goals. Dude, I respect you. I respect your goals. But my issue is, and it is my issue. That's my shit, not yours. It is, I want to be a part of ass assisting you with your goals. And that's my shit. That's not yours. So his shit is, she wants to assist me with my goals. My shit is, I want to assist you with your goals. We both have the same shit, just a different, different dynamic. Because one is, I want to do it alone. And one is, I love to help you. But you see, let's look at the masculine and the feminine here. The masculine is a giver. The feminine is a receiver. Why am I, who is supposed to be a receiver, trying to give? Not a good thing. And it is correct. I am showing disrespect in that aspect because I'm not respecting neither myself nor the wishes of the other. So when you are reviewing yourself and reviewing your attachment styles, let's try to look at it like, where am I at? for myself because remember each person you bring to you is a reflection they are a mirror of you some of the things about about the questions okay here's one that I think may be of assistance to people I worry that if my partner Lo leaves me loves me okay I worry that if my partner loves me I will never find someone else oh, sorry it must be leave leave in my handwriting I worry that if my partner leaves me I won't be able to find somebody else why would you worry like that I'm just wondering like I don't have that kind of thing going on but I know a lot of women do because I'll tell you why it's because of the sex he has given you his energy and you can't live without that energy and it's like ah, anxious energy in you because you start to think panic and also the connection you got that connection going and you're like okay I got that connection women have the connection bad so it's like oh my god I got this connection and it's all like this and he must be looking at other people, talking to other people, interested in other people. I am not enough. Well, girl, you're enough. You are a diamond. So shine. Be the jewel you are. Om Manapane Hum. You are the Om. He is the Manapane Hum. He is just your protector. If he chooses to choose and take a look at another Om, it doesn't really matter. She's not in his lotus. You're in the lotus. Be happy about it. Enough. That is enough. Um, and you know what? If he says, oh, I I'm changing the jewels here. Maybe you just need to polish yourself for you. Not him. He don't give a shit. This is number one key. Stop giving a shit. Care about yourself. First and foremost. Um, how do you deal with conflict? So it's because of the past that we like sit and we review our past and we get all panicky and fearful and we become an avoidant. We get an anxious fear. We get an avoidant fear. It's all fear, fear, fear because you're looking at your past. You're not looking at the present. You don't want to look into the future. Rather than remembering the future you want, you remember the past you don't want. That needs to stop. Focus from yourself by doing your alignment with your chakras. This is one. Number two. After you've aligned yourself, I want you to sit and I want you to focus. And I do like this. So this is like a thing do with the Tai Chi or something, okay? My right 
and my left, right over left. In order to cause right and left brain synchronicity, you must get right and left brain synchronicity in order to reprogram your mind. And I'm going to make my lion. So I have my diamond or my pyramid, sorry, pyramid. I will sit with my pyramid in here or to my third eye. And I generally close my eyes and I envision through it. I see the future I want to remember. And I do not focus on the past that no longer exists. How do you remember your future, you say? It is quite realistic and simple. There are many studies on it in the PhD departments of psychology on enhancement of the neurons by remembering the future in order to build the vibrational frequency because if you match your vibrational frequency you will receive what you match you will always mirror the vibration which you have emitted and this is not this is physics okay this is physics it is not Mm, what's the other term I forgot but anyways hocus pocus or whatever you want to say it's it's not philosophy it is physics sorry it is not philosophy it is physics so in the physics we can see one thing if I have the emotion of what I desire it's going to match me so look around you. Are you where you want to be right now? Are your emotions matching your desires? And if not, then sit like this. Put this together and I put them together like this because this is a stronger frequency, a stronger currency that I am emitting into my generally third eye up to the um, crown chakra in here because I am making a request to the universe. What you seek is seeking you. What you seek is seeking you. And remember that when you are in search of something, you can say it over and over again. This is what I did um, when I was in Bangkok. I was having some difficult times with my personal issues at that moment of my life. And I just said, I don't care what it takes. That's where my journey began on, on this road, actually. That's where my awakening took place was Bangkok. So you might hear me talk about Bangkok a few times. Um, Cause I just, I just kept going on and I said, okay, I'm going to get out of this mess whatever the mess is that I'm in, I am going to get out of it. No one will stop me, not even me. What I seek is seeking me. And I kept saying that, and every person I met, they were complete alignment with what I was looking for. Every person that day. So remember it, whatever it is you are searching for, try to match that vibration get into it. If you're not sure about the vibrational frequency, I think you should like research. Let me think about it. Preferably the right and left brain frequencies. You can find those on YouTube. They're free. I've done it with some of my students in the past and um, I, I've helped a lot of children who had learning disorders physical ailments and other things, speech impairments, they were able to overcome them just because of the right and left brain synchronicity. Because we are rebuilding the neurons within the mind which have been broken. So I wish you all a beautiful day.